I don't know, is it on? Folks, today is a big departure from my regular business here on YouTube, because today I'm gonna talk about a camera, and specifically the camera that I use, which is the Canon C70, and I'm gonna tell you something that nobody else seems to talk about that I absolutely love about this camera. I'll tell you something that I hate about it too that drives me insane that nobody else talks about too. So if you're here for my regular DIY stuff, you're gonna be a little bit disappointed if you're not into cameras, but I'm sure you'll get over it at some point. You might be asking yourself, why is this guy shooting a video about a camera from his kitchen? It's because I don't have neon lights in my office. <laughs> no, kidding. Or like backlit shelves with vintage cameras on them. No, that's not funny. It's actually really funny. But my office looks like a bomb went off in there, so that's the truth, and my kitchen's kind of clean. So what I do mostly is like run and gun style shooting. So I must preface that when I'm gonna talk about the C70 here. I'm usually in pretty fast paced environments. I'm usually by myself. I'm usually against the clock. And so what I will normally shoot in a year is like um, rodeo. I will definitely shoot bull riding, PBR bull riding. I will do some agricultural work. I will do, most definitely I will work for big oil. So the devil wears Prada. I don't even know if that makes sense. But anyway, you think about that. You think about rodeo, agriculture, Big oil, what do all three of those things have in common? Dust. That is right, Junior, my young Picasso. Dust. I'm always in dirt and wind. Dirt and wind makes dust, gets inside your camera. It's a nightmare. So since the inception of the C70, I would say that there's a good, I don't have stats on this, but I'd say there's a good portion of the population out there who is still using EF glass on the C70 because that's one of the beauties of it. You can use R or EF. And in or order to use the EF glass, we are going to mount the Canon EF to R 0.7 adapter. 0.71 for the nerds that want to comment. Now, you might have be old like me and have a pretty heavy investment in EF glass and don't want to change. Maybe you just, the R lenses aren't in your budget. Whatever it is, I think there's a lot of people still using EF. So when I'm uh, out shooting in the Dust Bowl, having this adapter on the camera, I put this on the day I brought this out of the box and I've never taken it off. And why is because it seals the front of the body of the camera. So if I'm shooting, uh, bull riding, let's say bull riding for example. I'm going from a 300 to a 100 to a 16 to 35, and I'll do that within six minutes, eight minutes. So I'm bombing lenses off and on super fast, right in the middle of a dust bowl. Obviously that's gonna cause a headache for me, but with this adapter on, I know I'm not getting the dust inside the body. It can get into the adapter and that can be cleaned easily. But, yeah, you know, another example, say, uh, like I'm on a platform of an oil rig. I'm not going to be like, uh, excuse me, could we just pause drilling for one minute while I run to my car and change the lens in a clean environment? Of course not. I'm going to bomb it off right on the platform. You know, pulling a lens off a camera on a drilling rig platform, you're going to pray that you don't get a mud shower and get a chunk of something fly inside the body. And that's why I love having this adapter on the front of the C70. It is just awesome. Before I, before I um, used to, in situations like that, I would always have two cameras, so two bodies. So I had, a, I had two Mark II 5Ds, I had two Mark III 5Ds, I had two Mark IV 5Ds, and now I've just kind of upgraded to this C70 I can't afford to run two C70s because I'm not rich, but even if I could, it would be a lot to handle because it's quite a bit bigger, it's quite a bit heavier. You would bang them together, you'd bust the screen off on the first 20 seconds of them banging into each other, which we all know the screen is absolutely garbage. I'm sure you've seen that on a million other videos. 
Which leads me to something that I absolutely hate about the C70. Yeah, the screen's garbage, that's a given. But, I don't know if you know this, but I have 20 or 25 subscribers that rely on me to provide high quality content for this website, for their viewing pleasure. So this is the first camera I've ever had with an articulating screen on it. And I thought, well, isn't that awesome? Because I can shoot videos by myself, which I do for YouTube, and I can see on the screen if the friggin' frame is gonna be in focus. So isn't that fantastic? But here's the hitch. As soon as you plug a mic in to one of these XLR ports, the inputs, that's kind of what happens to your screen. And when I plug a wire in there too, which I'll show you a shot here, it even makes it that much worse. If somebody out there has a solution for this, I do have a right angle cable, but it's kind of, it blocks it just as much. So if anybody has a solution to that, let me know. I know it's a stupid little thing and people don't talk about it probably because it's embarrassing, but it's still something that drives me kind of crazy that I can't see once I plug a mic into the screen when I flip it around. And also the screen is just complete garbage. And you've seen that on a hundred other videos of people talking about the C70. Hey, if you are into more C70 videos, there's a guy named Eric Walker from Boston. Cool young guy, he's not super duper techy. Lots of practical videos. When I got my C70, I watched a whole pile of his videos and they're great. I'm sure he's not gonna mind me uh, giving him a little shout out on here, but thank you, Eric Walker, for actually teaching me about a uh, thing or two about the C70. That's kind of awesome and thanks for making such good content. So yeah, the dust coming in the, the um, adapter it's a game changer for me and it's awesome. The screen sucks. One thing I should mention is the battery life. Oh man. So not only do I not worry about dust anymore, I don't worry about batteries because I can shoot all day on this one big battery on this thing and that's kind of a game changer for me too. It's just like one more thing to not think about, you know, and it's kind of unprofessional. I've been screwed so many times in interviews where like you're on a roll and I'm like, huh, can we pause? But no, having the long battery life on here is amazing. Having this adapter seal the camera off is amazing. The screen sucks. I won't be doing a lot of camera videos on this website here. I'll get back to the DIY stuff. If you're still watching this video and wanna know about the DIY stuff, we got something big coming. So thanks for watching and uh, I hope this was a little bit helpful. So. Devil wears Prada. I don't know what that means. Okay, bye.